Hey everybody, Reds the Collector here with a very special video today. Uh, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and a review of the brand spanking new 7 inch Christopher Reeve NECA figure. This figure just hit the collector consciousness uh, like a week ago. Thank you to the amazing uh, Stuart Murray who brought this to my and a lot of us other Super Rank collectors attention. Uh, I went ahead and pre-ordered this immediately off of eBay. Uh, now I wish I had known uh, before I got too click happy that you could have done different movies with it uh, because I just got the one that has the Man of Steel with it which I already own. So I'm kind of hoping that uh, it's in, a, in like its own separate like wrapper and uh, looks unopened because I'm gonna try and take that bad boy to Walmart <laughs> to return it because I'll pretty much take anything and uh, get some of the money back for it because uh, I really don't need the movie again. I own it on Blu-ray, so don't need that. But uh, I don't know why I'm wasting time here. I'm extremely excited. I've been sitting here like waiting for the postman to come because uh, I knew that uh, UPS had dropped it off to my local post office yesterday. I actually uh, had to take some things that I had sold on eBay to the post office and uh, tried to get them to go look for it for me, but they would not do it because, uh, probably because it's against their regulations, but I'm gonna go with the lady was a mean evil troll and wouldn't do that for me. But, here we go guys, the unboxing, cannot wait. Uh, been rearranging the room uh, just to get it one, just get it cleaned up, and two, trying to figure out where this guy's gonna go because he's gonna have a place of honor. Uh, here in the Res Fortress of Solitude. So let us open this guy up. All right. Those moments when the box opens and the goodness lies within. Right, we have the packing slip of goodness that shows how much I paid for it. And wow, it's even the Man of Steel DVD. It's not even the Blu-ray. I'm not gonna be getting much back for that if they do take it. Packaging, packaging, I'll use that for something I sell. I know I'm drawing it out. All right, the DVD is in its own separate thing, so I will be returning that to Walmart today. Probably only get like five bucks for it, but that's five bucks I don't have now. Oh, guys, it's beautiful. I can see it. I know I'm torturing you, but here it is. Goodbye, Mr. Box. Oh, yeah. That is, uh, forgive the little bit of camera movement there. There he is. Oh man, I, I really wish I had the money to have purchased two of these to keep one in box. Uh, I really didn't. Maybe I'll get lucky and find one at Toys R Us. Probably not, because I just, I don't have that kind of luck. But uh, as you can see here, the box is beautiful. It is a miniaturization of the one-fourth scale NECA figure, which of course uh, I also own. And uh, definitely gonna have to do a side-by-side -side with these guys. The face is amazing. Look at that face. They did such a better job. I mean, even making this uh, the miniature version, they did a great job of uh, getting Reeves likeness in here. Even better, I would say, than the one-fourth. They also fixed the hair, which isn't quite uh, uh, gigantic uh, Johnny Bravo Elvis-ish uh, like it was in the larger scale. Uh, of course, this box, like I said, is a miniaturization of the one-fourth scale box, and it is beautiful. It does have that 1978 Superman beautiful silver S here on the front. Of course, it's got the Fortress of Solitude background, the wonderful uh, crystal, compu crystal, crystal uh, computer control. Uh, going to the side, of course, it's just uh, another image of the fortress. On the back, uh, of course, we have a wonderful, wonderful view of the figure. Uh, of course, this is, uh, is the image of the prototype on the final product. May, of course, vary all action figures say that. I'm going to go ahead and pull this closer 
Uh, I generally don't read these, but as this is the Reeve, I'm going to read it. Uh, it says, Rocketed to Earth from the dying planet Krypton, baby kal was found by a farming couple who named the boy Clark Kent and raised him as their own. Discovering his enormous powers, they instilled in him strong moral values and inspired him to become a hero. Now disguised as Clark Kent, bumbling, mild-mannered reporter for the Daily Planet, he uses his powers given to him by Earth's Yellow Sun to wage a ceaseless battle against crime and injustice. And that is Superman in a nutshell. Of course, we have Superman, the movie logo, and that image prototype, as I said before. Again, on this side, just another... Uh, view of the fortress and then we are back to the front beautiful window display we've got DC Comics collectible uh, little sticker here in the front and uh, it is time to open the figure and experience the greatness that lies within uh, so bear with me gotta get the old knife ski out again And of course, oh, uh, that's the top. We did not look at the top. Let's look at the top because covering all the bases, we've got uh, what says real toys here with the soccer ball or the umbrella corporation logo, looks like. Uh, NECA, uh, Choking Hazard, Superman the movie. Uh, on the bottom, we have all of our logos. We've got DC. We have the beautiful Superman S. We have the Warner Brothers logo. We have the trademark of DC Comics, uh, the... WB Shield, Warner Brothers Entertainment. We've got NECA. NECA. Real Toys. The Superman S. The CE. The No, no Babies, because babies are evil. And then we have, of course, the Arrows. Uh, over here we have the product development by Randy Falk. The Sculpt by Carl Windricks and Adrian Smith. Paint by John Mordell and Jeffrey Trapp. Prototype is Adam Smith. Packaging, Chris Longo. And photography, Stephen Muzerik. Of course, it is made in China. Sorry, I guess I was reading all that and you guys can't even see it. Made in China, has its wonderful little number here, and the UPC code. Now, again, I've put this off long enough, and I'm now torturing not just you, but me. So, there it is, guys. The cut. And the slide. So, we're just going to go ahead, take the box, we're going to set that aside. Let's actually not close that yet because we're going to need to get him out. Uh, now, just like with the one four scale, he comes with two extra hands, and those would be his flight hands. I just I can't tell you. I know that basically all of you are getting this figure, and I really, really feel bad if you guys don't have it yet because just having it in the the plastic shell is it's mind blowing to sit here and actually own a real licensed. Christopher Reeve seven inch scale figure. It's it's phenomenal. I can't I can't say it enough. So let's uh, go. He's of course tied in here. Oh look at that cape. Just just look at that cape. Uh, I hope whatever that is is not on my cape and that comes off because I don't dig on that. But let's. You know, I'm gonna pause this. I'll pause it. I'll get it out. We'll experience it. It'll be wonderful. Alright guys, he's out of the box, and uh, for those of you who saw my Facebook post, be extremely careful, because uh, his leg snapped right off. You can see uh, the glue there, I've glued it back on, um, I'm trying to see what uh, they will do for me on a refund, I did purchase a second one. Um, yeah, kind of irritated now, but I'm not going to let that uh, weigh me down at all. So let's take a look at it. Um, other than the leg snapping off, it is an awesome figure. Uh, the face sculpt is amazing, as you can see. Uh, the cloth cape, also extremely, extremely awesome. Got that wonderful yellow S on the back. Um, it is really just a uh, shrunk down version of that one fourth scale Reeve that we got from NECA. Um, Let's take a look at articulation, and again, when you get yours, be extremely careful. Uh, we, of course, do have a ball-jointed head, 
So we get a lot of movement out of that. Uh, ball jointed shoulders and a bend at the elbow. Uh, we do have uh, a rotation and bend at the wrist. He does have a waist rotation, but I'm being very careful with that. Uh, the legs do go out in a T. Uh, the bend there at the knee that you can see, of course, the other one's no longer going to bend. And then we do have nice ankle rockers and bend there at the feet. Um, he does, of course, come with the same hands that the larger version comes with. He comes with fists, and then he comes with flight hands. Uh, you can see here on the back, uh, just a very, very nice rendition of Chris. Um, just like the larger version, the costume is like a rubber costume. So, um, not cloth except for the cape. Uh, overall, except for it breaking on me, uh, I am really happy with it, except, of course, again, for the break. Hopefully, they will make it right. Like I said, I did purchase a second one, um, and hopefully they'll make the first one right, and I'll get a refund or what have you on that. Um, so we'll see from there. But uh, one thing, I think one of the reasons it broke is, one, I was trying to bend the knee, and two, on the uh, larger scale, there's a rotation here at the boot, and there is no rotation here at the boot on the smaller figure. Um, Sorry guys, I know I'm kind of a downer now uh, since that happened, but uh, overall uh, the figure is amazing. Just when you get yours, be extremely, extremely careful with it. Uh, let's just go ahead and get a nice 360 view. So there you go, guys. There is the 7-inch uh, NECA Christopher Reeve. Um, I do highly recommend that you guys pick it up. Just don't uh, be a big brute like myself and accidentally break it. Um, I don't want to dissuade anybody from getting it. It is an amazing figure. Um, hopefully, like I said, they will make it right with me. Um, I not only sent an uh, email to uh, the eBay Warner Brothers store, I also sent an email to Cap Kearney uh, with uh, DC. Uh, that guy has done gone above and beyond for me, but uh, I let him know as well. So uh, hopefully things will be made right. And again, this is a beautiful figure. Just be extremely careful with it. And, uh, of course, this is Res the Collector. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And you have a great day.